iToy Studio and Everything Dinosaur have been working on a new dinosaur, all part of our product development. Specifically, this chap here, a new replica of Dilophosaurus, which pays homage to the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Stick around, we'll tell you more. Hi, Everything Dinosaur here. And in this short video, we'll be talking about this dinosaur model, the iToy Studio Dilophosaurus, the latest dinosaur model in an exciting range from that particular company. Now, this product will be available from Everything Dinosaur, but before it is, we have to get this animal tested. The model needs to be tested so that we can sell it, which means this sample has got to go to the independent testing company, Eurofins. We're going to pack it up, send it away, and hopefully, when they've done the tests and they've given us a report, we'll be able to get this product on the market and in stock at Everything Dinosaur. So let's take a close look at this collectible dinosaur model. This is a replica of the Dilophosaurus as depicted in the first Jurassic Park movie. The venomous dinosaur, the iconic spitter. It is a beautifully crafted replica from iToy Studio, a very underrated production company that has already wowed model collectors with a variety of prehistoric animal replicas, including Ceratosaurus, T-Rex, and the recently introduced spectacular Paraceratherium, all of which are in stock at Everything Dinosaur. It is beautifully painted and shows some amazing details, including that impressive neck frill. The model is in a dynamic position, as if in mid-stride chasing prey. The Dilophosaurus is securely pinned to its display base, and it is a stunning figure with very impressive countershading, and the inside of the mouth has had a glossy wash applied to give the open jaws a very realistic wet look. All in all, it is a superb model, a fitting tribute to movie dinosaurs. The iToy Studio Dilophosaurus model measures around 26 centimeters in length, and the top of that impressive colorful neck frill stands some 12 centimeters off the ground. Viewed from the front, the model looks amazing, and that gorgeous thrill measures over 7 centimetres wide. The species which this iToy Studio replica purports to represent, Dilophosaurus sinensis, was erected in 1993, coincidentally the same year as the film Jurassic Park, with its frilled, venom-spitting Dilophosaurs hit cinema screens. The naming of this dinosaur was not influenced by the movie. The fragmentary fossils from the Lower Jurassic Lufeng Formation of Yunnan Province, which led to Dilophosaurus sinensis being named, did resemble Dilophosaurus fossil remains found in the United States. In addition, the Chinese specimen was thought to have a pair of head crests similar in shape to those of Dilophosaurus. A year after Dilophosaurus sinensis was first named, a much more complete specimen was discovered. These fossils, and other material found subsequently, has led paleontologists to revise the taxonomic classification of this dinosaur. For example, the highly influential Chinese paleontologist Don Ziming studied the fossils of another Chinese theropod, Cynosaurus triassicus, and found similarities between Cynosaurus and Dilophosaurus sinensis. As Cynosaurus was named first, back in 1940, some paleontologists now regard the name Dilophosaurus sinensis as a junior synonym of Cynosaurus. On the other hand, differences in the fossils of Cynosaurus and Dilophosaurus have been pointed out. The fossils associated with Dilophosaurus sinensis 
could represent a different species of Cynosaurus, or even a completely distinct genus. When it comes to early Jurassic theropods, clearly we have so much more to learn. So, Dilophosaurus sinensis could be a valid dinosaur species. As for that beautifully crafted neck frill on the iToy Studio model, there is no fossil evidence to support the idea of Dilophosaurus, or Cynosaurus for that matter, ever having this anatomical feature. The iToy Studio Dilophosaurus model is supplied with a base. There's a pin on it, and you simply find the hole in the left foot of the Dilophosaurus, place it over the pin, give it a wiggle, and there you are, your model set up. This is our product sample, and this is the box that it came in. As you can see, when we get a sample from China, if you've ever bought anything from overseas, you can see that sometimes the boxes get a bit damaged, but that's not a problem to us, because we've got to do some modification to the packaging and to this product and to the product labelling, so when it goes into your fins, it'll get a successful report under the General Product Safety Directive. Once we've got that report, we can then organise a shipment of these fabulous models from iToy Studios factory and we can legally sell them outside of China. So we'll keep you posted on the report status and with a bit of luck we'll have some good news and we'll get this model into the UK market, into the European market, to our global customer base as quickly as we can. And on that note, I'll say thanks very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.